Bethesda Baptist Church would like to present, by written permission from Chick Publications, a love story. Have you ever felt unloved, unwanted, or maybe lonely? Have you ever wondered where you came from, why you are here, or where you will spend eternity after you die? Then, a love story is for you. It is not only a beautiful love story, but the greatest love story ever told. Our prayer is that you would take a few minutes and enjoy viewing this life-changing video. Who gave you life? The Bible says Jesus did. All things were made by him, Jesus, and without him was not anything made that was made. John chapter 1, verse 3. Who created this world for you to live on? The Bible says Jesus did. For by him, Jesus, were all things created that are in heaven and that are in earth, visible and invisible, whether they be thrones or dominions or principalities or powers, all things were created by him and for him. Colossians chapter 1, verse 16. everything you've ever said or thought in your heart the Bible says Jesus does for there is not a word in my tongue but lo O Lord thou knowest it all together Psalms chapter 139 verse 4 who knows how lonely and really scared you are who really understands you. The Bible says Jesus does. Neither is there any creature that is not manifest, exposed, in his sight. But all things are naked and opened unto the eyes of him, Jesus, with whom we have to do. Hebrews chapter 4, verse 13. Murder, envy, cheating, swearing, lust, having an affair, pride. Who knows all about your sins? Sexuality, stubbornness. The Bible after, says Jesus does. Wanting something that belongs to someone else. Hating parents, lying. And Jesus, false knowing their thoughts, said, Wherefore think ye evil in your hearts? Matthew Insect, chapter 9, shaggy, verse 4. Filthy talk, hate, stealing, selfishness. Who wants you to be next to him in heaven? The Bible says Jesus. For the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of the archangel, and with the trump of God, and the dead in Christ shall rise first. Then we, the believers in Christ, which are alive and remain, shall be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air, and so shall we ever be with the Lord. 1 Thessalonians chapter 4, verse 16, verse 17. Who wants to keep you from going to hell? Jesus. The Lord, Jesus, is not willing that any should perish, but that all should come to repentance, to be truly sorry about your sin and quit sinning. 2 Peter chapter 3, verse 9. Who loved you so much that he would leave his throne in heaven just for you. Jesus, 
For God, the Father, so loved the world, that's you, that he gave his only begotten Son, God the Son, that's Jesus, that whosoever believeth, clings to our trusts, in him should not perish in the lake of fire, but have everlasting life in heaven. John chapter 3, verse 16. Who loved you so much that he would shed his precious blood to wash away your sins and die for you? Jesus, in whom we have redemption, like slaves to sin, we have been bought and paid for and made free. Through his blood, even the forgiveness of sins. Colossians chapter 1, verse 14. you so much that he rose from the dead and went back to heaven Jesus and when he Jesus had spoken those things while they the disciples beheld he was taken up into heaven and a cloud received him out of their sight Acts chapter 1 verse 9 loves you enough that he would build you a gorgeous mansion in heaven to live in. Jesus. Jesus said, In my Father's house in heaven are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you. I go to prepare a place for you. And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and receive you unto myself, that where I am, there ye may be also. John chapter 14, verse 2, verse 3. Who wants you to tell him how very sorry you are for your sins and that you'll turn away from them? Jesus. Jesus said, I came not to call the righteous, but sinners to repentance to be truly sorry about your sins and quit sinning. Luke chapter 5, verse 32. The Bible says, As it is written, there is none righteous, no, not one. Romans chapter 3, verse 10. wants to come into your heart if you ask him to Jesus that if thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus tell people about it and shalt believe in thine heart that God hath raised him from the dead thou shalt be saved have your sins forgiven so you can go to heaven Romans chapter 10 verse 9 Now, if you've done that, who loves you so much that he wants to share his riches, power, and glory with you? Jesus. Beloved, now are we the sons of God, and it doth not yet appear what we shall be. But we know that when he, Jesus, shall appear, we shall be like him, for we shall see him as he is. 1 John chapter 3, verse 2. Who loves you so much that he would put angels at your side to protect you? Jesus. Are they not all ministering spirits, angels, sent forth to minister, care, for them who shall be heirs of salvation, those who receive Jesus as Lord, whose sins are forgiven 
and are going to heaven. Hebrews chapter 1, verse 14. Who wants you to be with him when he comes back to this earth as King of kings and Lord of lords? Jesus. And I saw heaven open, and behold, a white horse, and he that sat upon him was called Faithful and True, Jesus. And in righteousness he doth judge and make war on the earth. And the armies, the believers in Christ, which were in heaven, followed him upon white horses, clothed in fine linen, white and clean. And on his vesture, robe, and on his thigh, a name written, King of Kings and Lord of Lords. Revelation chapter 19, verse 11, verse 14, verse 16. Who loves you so much that he wants you to rule at his side throughout eternity? Jesus. And hast made us unto our God kings and priests, and we shall reign, rule, on the earth. Revelation chapter 5, verse 10. Isn't that a beautiful love story? Who could ever love you like that? Only God Almighty. And that's who Jesus really is. I am Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the ending, saith the Lord Jesus, which is and which was and which is to come the Almighty. Revelation chapter 1, verse 8. The Bible says there's only one way to heaven. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. John chapter 14, verse 6. Nobody else can save you. Trust Jesus today. That if thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus, and shalt believe in thine heart that God hath raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. Romans chapter 10, verse 9. First, admit you are a sinner. See Romans chapter 3, verse 10. Second, be willing to turn from sin. Repent. See Acts chapter 17, verse 30. Third, believe that Jesus Christ died for you, was buried and rose from the dead. See Romans chapter 10, verses 9 and 10. Fourth, through prayer, invite Jesus into your life to become your personal savior. See Romans chapter 10, verse 13. What to pray? Dear God, I am a sinner and need forgiveness. I believe that Jesus Christ shed his precious blood and died for my sin. I am willing to turn from sin. I now invite Christ to come into my heart and life as my personal savior. If you trusted Jesus as your savior, you have just begun a wonderful new life with him. Now, first, read your Bible every day to get to know Jesus Christ better. Second, talk to God in prayer every day. Third, be baptized, worship, fellowship, and serve with other Christians in a church where Christ is preached and the Bible is the final authority. Fourth, tell others about Jesus Christ. We hope you have enjoyed this presentation. If you have trusted Jesus Christ as your